Hello, honey. Busy day at work? Why the fuck would you care? Get off my back! What's wrong? Let me take care of you. Quit it! You know what? I hate you! I've always hated you! Is everyone ready to proceed? Roger D. Rock, ready. Ash Crystallis Satan, ready. She's murdered. Yeah, right. She's definitely murdered. Come on, the sleeping pills are there. She obviously overdosed. Well, that explains that. Come to think of it, how did you manage to get us, a simple private eye group, investigating a murder scene? Um... If you hire us, then I'll throw in a real sexy picture of our secretary. You CSI guys take care of the body. I'm done, she's done. Snow, how you doing? I found out what happened. Wait, what? Like I said, I found out what happened. And how exactly did you find this out? I can pick up residual energies with this thing. The woman here died from a broken heart. Even though I got recorded images from this. Residuals tend to be unreliable. So you need more concrete evidence to find out that this guy is your killer. That's right. Snow and I will search the bedroom next. My name is Zach Athlete, husband to Abigail Zenith. Did you love her? Of course I love Abigail. <laughs> She's my wife. Fine then. Continue. I won't interrupt anymore until you're finished. Hello. Faye Pyrus, investigator. I'm investigating the death of Abigail Zenith. Veronica Neptune. What can you tell me about Zach and Abigail? Nice young couple. We would have dinner together every other month or so. Did you find anything odd about them? Really? Zach has a stressful job. A bit twitchy. Maybe more than normal, come to think of it. You think something's amiss? That's what I'm here to find out. Can you tell me what you heard last night, if you were here? I was just playing a racing game in the living room. I lost the CPU match by about a fraction of a second, so I rage quit the game. Then I heard them arguing through the wall. Zack simply snapped and stormed out of the apartment. Abigail broke down. Looking back, I wished I went over there and helped her. Are we done here? I would like to crash my car. In the video game, of course. We are. Thank you for your time. Thing that popped up in my head just now about Abigail. I'll miss her caramel brownies. Looks like she likes to blog about her life. Old diaries with decorative locks. I guess it's from back when she was a teenager, but this one looks pretty new. There's nothing in the blog, but I'll check that out later. Let me see this. Well, it looks like we've got a lead. What? Do you hate me? No. Why? It's nothing. Given that, it is entirely possible to die from a broken heart. Objection! All you are giving us are theories! If she died from a broken heart, then it has nothing to do with Mr. Zack here. Point taken. Ask Satan. Unless you present at least some form of evidence, I'll have to throw this case out. On the contrary, Your Honor. Thanks, Maggie. What are you doing? Skimming through Abigail's blog, hoping to see if there's anything of note. Got a password cracker running for Zach's. Why hack into it? There might have been private-only posts. Abigail has no private posts, but let's see Zach's. Okay, just head over to Archives, sort by security level, narrow it down to private. Looks like someone's been keeping secrets. Some of those look really old. And this one is older than their marriage. Let's just open them all. Talk about the hate being cooked on Simmer this whole time. Damn it, Flynn. Huh? 
Hello, Fay Pyrus, investigator. I'm wondering if you can give me some information on Zach Allen. Something the matter? Zach's wife is dead, so I would like to know about their relationship. Hmm. It's always something funny with their relationship, I thought. Zach had always hated Abigail. Thought that she's too stuck up. Are you saying that he never loved her? I'm questioning that myself. It's just one of those things. Like an acquired taste. Eventually, he grew to love her. Between you and me, I think he had a firm grip on her heart. Not in a, I stole your heart kind of way. But in a, I'm holding you captive kind of way. In short, it was all just for show. What else do you know about them? Abigail. She has a weak heart. Thankfully, she rarely gets angry, distressed, or anything. It's unfortunate she had to die this way. Zack, however, is a real smart guy. Almost like he could get away with anything. If he's guilty, then what a waste of a brilliant mind. I remember the time when Zack started dating Abigail. When he first asked her, it was a train wreck. <laughs> Fumbling around stuff. Zack's old blog posts. They state the methods of how he would kill her. I'll admit that's quite the long-term commitment. Combined with her medical condition? Admit it, you never loved her. <laughs> you thought you could get away with it. Like that plan from office space. Little by little, build it up, then boom! Hurrah! She was a fucking bitch! God damn it, she was so annoying! I'm glad she's dead! I'm really glad! It was so worth it! I have heard enough. Zack Athlete, I hereby declare you guilty as charged. Take him away. It's the void. Call me back. It's me again. I'm currently cooking up the seafood. Um, hopefully you'll be back from work soon. Bye. The void? I'm home. Oh. What can I say? Good job, everyone. Case is closed. Yay! <laughs> well, we have to thank Casey for bringing the case to us. It was no problem. But you should have run it by me first. I'm responsible for everything here. Hmm. That's all. Everyone can go home now. So when are we going to watch those season box sets of Rust? We can watch a few episodes when we get back to my place. Need anything else? No need. I'll get started with my report tonight. Come back and write up tomorrow. I'm sleepy. So, you're here because you murdered your wife. Uh, that's boring. He made me die from a broken heart. He hated me all this time. Whoa, dude, that's totally cruel. It's almost like you're Satan himself. No, wait. You're in hell with me? That's great. We'll suffer together. Actually, I'm getting a second life. Bye-bye. I think I got the punishment for you. Let me read Twilight. What? No! No! Before I'm going to read it, the author never explained how these vampires sparkle in light. I think they're like those pearl vampires with an oyster-like glow. You gotta feel sorry for them since they meowsed the moment they hit the sun. Can you imagine the amount of sunblock they must use to blend in? God, stop! Um, okay, but your punishment still stands. Still got the books, movies, and ah! even a video game. Hey, Mr. Skunk. Why are you here? 